Hello everyone, this is a user guide to the portfolio growth visualization tool. In the last post, you may have seen a graph like this. This is the normalized growth of my portfolio, the blue line versus the BSE Sensex. Uh, so you can, uh, with this tool, create your own such graph and compare it with any index of your choice. So in order to use this tool, let me first look at the uh, kind of inputs the input format so let's consider two mutual funds so let's say you have a two mutual fund portfolio hdfc balanced and mirai asset india opportunities these are of course only examples and you will have to enter the transactions in this format date purchase amount now so if you buy units you will have to enter it as a purchase or you can enter it as a buy if you redeem units you can enter it as a redemption or you can enter it as a sell uh, for those who are using the free fincal automated um, mutual fund tracker this is the standard format so it's not a problem for uh, those who are using the value research online portfolio uh, tracker if you export the transactions in excel it will look identical to this except that the purchases will be called as buy the redemption will be called a sell that's fine that you can use the same format it will still work dividends can also be entered when you cut and paste but dividends will be ignored if you uh, reinvest the dividend then the reinvestment must be entered as a purchase transaction if you reinvest the dividend in another mutual fund then it must be entered as a purchase transaction in that mutual fund so these are the two transactions and we'll go to the main sheet now this is the main input page there are a lot of sheets with the red tabs do not use any of them now you see a big macro button here which says clear all your uh, earlier transactions don't use it unless you need it otherwise uh, everything will be deleted and you cannot undo it so um, the first thing that you have to do is to find out from your Consolidated CAMS Carvey <coughs> FT AML mutual, uh, uh, mutual fund portfolio. The first date on which you bought mutual fund units, the first ever transaction that you made, that date should be entered here. This is a uh, uh, once for all entry. Once you enter, you don't need to change it. Then in this blue section here, you can compare your portfolio growth with any of the indices that are shown here. That is, uh, all the redemptions and purchases that you make in your own portfolio in the various mutual funds, they will be made on the same dates and with the same amounts in any of the indices uh, that you choose. And after you uh, choose it, click process index data. Now, this process can be done anytime. For example, uh, I have already downloaded Nik uh, Nifty Next 50 TRI data for this uh, video. You can um, change it change the index now or you can change the index after you finish all uh, uploading all mutual fund transactions or whenever it will still uh, reflect the change so this can be done at any time so you will have to sequentially upload the transactions here the first step is to enter the uh, few letters of the mutual fund scheme let's use hdfc balanced click enter it will calculate and, and populate this drop down box it will take a few seconds now if you do it you will see hdfc balance direct plan growth option click that and then you can click on this and it will retrieve the nav history from amfi <coughs> this will take <coughs> excuse me this will take a minute or so So while this happens, um, I'd like to tell you that this is for all mutual funds, both equity and debt. I would like to add a stock module to this so you can visualize the stock portfolio growth independently and add it to your equity uh, portfolio and look at the overall portfolio growth. So we'll do that at some point in the future. So once you finish the input section steps, uh, once you finish step one, step two and step three, it will take you to the transactions page. This is step four where you have to paste the transactions. 
So I'll go to the sample sheet here, copy the transactions. I'm not going to copy all of them just for illustration. I'm just going to copy the transactions up till end of 2016. You'll see why I do that. Just copy this. Go here. You can just do a paste, but I would prefer to right click paste special values and number format. If I do this, the green color will not go away. So I'm just used to doing that. So once you paste it, that step four is done. Once you paste it, you have to click on step five. You will always get this nagging message box. You should click on step five only after um, only for new transactions after completing steps one to three. Click yes to proceed or no to cancel. That is sometimes by mistake. You can um, click on step five without completing steps one, two, three, four. So that's just a check. So we have completed uh, all those steps. So we can click yes and now it will proceed and process those transactions so it will take those transactions and map them to the nav history downloaded earlier and it will calculate the total mutual funds held on any day and then it will tell you the value of the mutual fund uh, portfolio on any of the days so this is the total value this is the actual value i have this is in lakhs but you can change it if you know a little bit of excel and this is a normalized portfolio comparison with nifty next 50. don't worry about these uh, big dips sometimes the index data will be wrong and uh, so don't worry too much about it also sometimes the amfi uh, database will have zeros in the nav history when the nav is zero then this uh, total value will dip to zero suddenly but don't worry too much about it it's just uh, it's too much of a pain to go and uh, check all those navs it's, don't worry too much about it so that's the first transaction. Now we have to go back to the inputs and type the name of the second mutual fund. So Mirai Asset India Opportunities Direct Plan Growth. Click on that. And then it will give you do on step three and then it'll down uh, retrieve that now so we just need to wait a bit while it comes Yeah, so go back to the sample sheet and again here. This is uh, notice that this SIP starts two years after the first SIP. So this is the first date that you had to enter in input. So if you go to the input sheet, this is 7th January 2013. That's the first ever transaction. That is the date here. So let's go back here. Come back here. Go back to Mary assets again here. I will only copy transactions until 2016. Copy that, go here, do that, and paste it. You don't have to do this, you can just put a control V, it'll work. Then click on file, it'll again ask you, yes, we have done everything, this is a new transaction, so. Do not use this transaction sheets for updating anything, it will not work. I'll show you how to update the portfolio. This is only for new transaction. That's why the dialog box comes every time. So now you have added both the mutual funds. This is the combined value and this is the combined comparison. Now, uh, let's say you now have updated for all your funds. So you have to do this for every fund. You have to repeat this for all the funds. And let's say you've completed updating all the uh, uh, transactions. And let's say after a month, you do a new transaction. Now, how do you add a new transaction to this graph, to this uh, calculator? To do that, you need to go to, uh, the instructions are here, updating the portfolio with future transactions, go to for updating only. So that's the sheet. Notice that HDFC balanced, all the transactions that you have uploaded so far are here. 
okay. the Mirai Asset Fund, all the transactions are here. Now, scroll down to the HDFC fund. Go to the sample sheet and this is the reason why I did not add the 2017 transactions just to show you how the updation can be done. So you need to copy the remaining transactions. Let's say these are future transactions and you, and you need to add them right here. You can do the same to the Mirai fund as well. The 2017 transactions were left out. Copy that. So you just need to keep adding all future transactions that you make um, at the appropriate place in this sheet. So you will have a record of all the transactions here. This can be used in future for uh, uh, much more um, insightful analysis. We will get to that. But for the moment, uh, we will just look at portfolio growth. So, <coughs> excuse me. So the additional transactions have been entered. Now go back to the input sheet and use this button to update the portfolio graph. So now the portfolio graph will be updated. So it will take each of the transactions and updated. So that's the updated graph. You can see that you now have data all the way up to January 2018. So that's it. So you'll have to uh, enter each transaction and after that you can update each transaction by going to the for updating sheet only. Now, if you do not find any of the mutual funds listed in this drop box here, you can go to the add new AMFI record and add it. And you'll have to choose the AMC and then uh, add to the database. It will add it and then you can after that use it. So it's not a uh, um, problem if uh, if there's a new uh, new fund and you have uh, invested in it. So that's it. So please use it and let me know how um, you find the sheet. Um, I'm not uh, sure if this is the best way to do it. Uh, um, this is one way to do it. There are easier ways. Let me know. I'll try to modify the sheet. So look forward to, uh, to your feedback and I'll catch you again in another video. Until then, uh, bye bye.